Hello, I'm Z, and welcome back to Yakuza Zero. Let us continue on by doing what? Wasting our time, of course. Of course. How better than to do that? Prepare to open. Cast on duty. Remove you. Put in fucking anyone you, I don't care. Open for business. Club Mars, I guess. There we go. We're just gonna have like a time waster. So, here's a fun fact. I've been recording a lot in advance because there's gonna be stuff that I'll have to do and I've just had time right now when I know I'll, I won't have time in the future. Um, this video, for example, is recorded about... Hmm, let me think. Six days before it's supposed to actually come out? Six days in advance. So, you know, quite a bit, if you ask me. Not that it really matters. I mean, the only downside is I don't really get to actually use tips from comments and all that. Well, I do get to use it, it's just not right away. But, uh, considering where I'm, where I'm at in most games, I think I'm pretty good or well off without tips or hints or all that. I've been thinking, actually. There's a few games I've really been wanting to play, and I think one of them that I specifically, I think, would like a lot, personally, would like a lot, is gonna come after Yakuza. I had a different one in mind for after Yakuza, um, but I'm gonna keep that for um, after something else. I think probably after Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas is also a really fun game that I'm playing. A bit janky, though. And a bit too much to do. With a little bit too much to show. It's a bit bland, in, in my opinion. But also, it's kind of fun. It's fun to explore, but it's not fun to explore where there's nothing to find. So it's really really good that the, the game actually has, like, a... A perk, essentially, that allows you to... See the whole... Of, like, all the locations of the map. Even though you haven't explored them. Just so I know where, where to go, and that makes it a lot more fun when exploring. Because I have, like, interesting points on the map. Um, yeah. I'm not sure how fast- how, how soon I'll be finishing Fallout New Vegas. I think it's gonna still be a good while till I actually get to. But, you know. It doesn't really matter. What does matter, however... Is the fact that we're almost over with this timer, thank god. You know... People say it's difficult to record stuff like this, right? You gotta think about it my way. My way, like the song? No. Um... You gotta think about it when it comes to my perspective, for example, on recording. I've, re I've been recording now for, like... That's a good fucking question, actually. One year? Two years? Almost two years, maybe? I have actually no clue. Wow, that's surprising. I have zero idea how long I've been recording. Not consistently like this. Uh, yeah, I will run the Cabaret Club, of course. And at this point, at how much I've recorded, it really isn't a big deal to record. Like, it doesn't take a lot of energy to record. When I when I have to start recording, I feel tired and all that. Because, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be recording. But when I get into the recording, I'm pretty much focused on what I'm doing and what I'm talking about. And I don't really feel fatigued or anything like that. So usually what I try and do is I try and record multiple things one after another, you know, without getting out of the, the vibe of recording. And, um... That helps me so I can actually, you know, do all of them easily. 
without feeling fatigued. Special training, though. There we go. Chica. Alright, let's see what we can do in some conversation. Hey. Majima-san, I look forward to your instruction. Mm. Whoa, Majima-sama. Oh, no, not son. Sama. It sounds way too formal. You don't gotta use Sama in my name. Very well, I understand. Majima. Hmm, yeah, I think he just wants son. Aw, oh, come on, at least you son. Majima-san. <laughs> I was joking. Maybe it's a delivery. Whatever. So, they were gonna. You're gonna talk to me? Like I'm one of your customers, got it? This training is quite serious. Understood. I'll do my best. My name is Chica. It's my pleasure to meet you. <laughs> so polite, Chica chan. Alright, let's do this. Why don't we start with some stuff you like? What are you into these days? Hmm. Ah, a bookworm, eh? You have a kind of intellectual vibe going on. Really? Not with the stuff I've given her. What kind of books do you read? Hmm. So you've been reading since you were a kid, huh? At some class in Raymond. What kind of novels do you read? Mystery, SF, Hmm. Perfect fit, to be honest, for what I've dressed her in. A perfect fit. Hmm? Romance novels, eh? Sounds like a perfect fit for you. You've got a great imagination, and you can put yourself into those worlds. So Oh, no need to be so down on yourself. You're still young, so you've got plenty of chances left. You're pretty, pretty tabooed, so give it time one day. You'll be like one of them girls in a, on a romance that will cover. I wonder if chika still has baggage from Rush, but kind of hard from Clovinus. Um, anything else? You got something besides reading that you like, chika -chan? Well, you know what's amazing? You and I ain't got one molecule in common as far as interests go. Hmm. That's a good question. So obviously opposites attract is gonna be the right answer here. But that's a good question, right? Because when your interests interests are conflict, like when when you Com uh, like the interests are clashing, right? There's a bit of an issue, right? Let's say, let's put it this way. Sometimes you'll get into arguments, and sometimes it may be about your interests, right? And when that time comes, you're not gonna be able to agree on anything. And moreover, not only that, you're not going to be able to make the other understand under no circumstance. Like, she's a bookworm, right? If you were to explain to her, right? Let's say she doesn't really like games, for example. If you were to explain why, why you would like games so much and everything, and she was to explain why she likes reading so much. Like, it doesn't really mix. You're not gonna get to a point where we can both agree and just, you know, yeah, it's fine, nothing to fight over. I, I'm not, I'm not putting this into words well, but I feel like it would start a lot of arguments over what you should do, 
maybe what you should be watching on TV or shows or stuff like that. Or what you should uh, decorate your house with, you know. Stuff like this really changes stuff like that. So, I don't know. It... It's not always great when opposites attract. I say it's better to have at least a few differences. That way you can learn your stuff from your partner. If you learn like what you... If, if you learn to like what your partner likes, you really expand your horizons. Yes, but also that's a big if. その通りだと思います。マジマさんって素敵な考え方するんですね。うん、いや、think So tell me more about yourself, Chika-san. You got anything you're good at? Hmm. Getting lost. Wait, that's what you're good at? Yeah, that's what you're good at. So, she's perfect in the kind of situations where someone just says, get lost. Yeah, she's perfect in that situation. Detours are nice. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Well, it ain't a problem if you enjoy some nice detours. If you, if you just enjoy the detours, sometimes the shorter side ain't the best one, you know? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you're lost. But you stop to look down at your feet. You see something you've never seen before. It could even be a pretty little flower or some junk. Like Mother Nature saying herself. Uh, Mother Nature herself saying, Hey, don't worry that... Don't worry. Take that detour. So, Chika-san. You keep your, doing your getting lost thing. Mm, despite appearances, huh? I see how it is. Okay, then. How about you tell me some of the stuff you don't like, instead? Yeah, I can't even imagine you looking at, laughing at a dirty joke. I can with the costume I gave you. Mm, well, you're working at night. All your customers are men, and there's liquor involved. The only thing you can avoid dealing with dirty minds. Customer feeds you their line? How do you handle it, Chika-chan? You ignore it. Wait, that ain't good. Hmm. Try and smile. No. Chikushan, you're the consummate professional. I think you ought to smile through it, even if it jars you. Mm, just told me to take pride in your job. You take pride in your, in your job. Was that a lie? Eh? If the customer is dirty, or even if he smells like fish guts, a true professional will still try to make his. Let's just try to make his night. And I'd take you for the best of the best in, the line of, in this line of work, Chika-chan. Am I wrong? Hmm. I know you're capable of being the best, Chika-chan. Keep at it. Up there. Mm -hmm. See, that was perfect. Yeah, I know. I noticed. Open for business. I very much don't care what score I actually get.
No. いらっしゃいませ、お客様。いらっしゃいませ。This is nice. Mm, no, I don't think I will. Right. Let me actually check how long it's been since I started uploading daily. Because I think it's a pretty important thing. And just so you know, I never broke my streak. There were times where I couldn't upload in a day. That didn't mean I didn't actually upload. I uploaded a video saying that I couldn't upload any normal videos. And then, you know... That was the video for that day, but that only happened, I think, once. So, it's technically never breaking it, but practically breaking it once. I think that's pretty good. I think that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. Okay, okay, I see how it is. It's been about two years and a half. Wow, it's been two years and a half? Damn. Holy. That's quite a bit. That is quite a bit. Yeah, wow. Now, don't tell anyone I told you this, but... This channel, or rather... Z as a name, as an avatar, as character. Well, I, w I didn't start with it. I've been making videos since I was like... 8, 9 years old. Of course they were garbage, but it was practice, right? Practice, 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 and practice makes perfect. And uh, there were some good attempts at some points, but... Uh, in the end, I decided to, to stick with this attempt. You know? And... And work hard. Is all I'll say. It's just work hard. And, you know, I'm glad that I could find some people that enjoy my videos. That's really all I need. And that's... I'm grateful for that. I'm glad I could. There's actually... I, I have a folder on my computer where I keep, like, little archives of what, I, what, what videos I had before I made this channel. Streaming on Twitch, streaming on YouTube, making videos in another language, all that kind of stuff. Just a little bit of everything thrown about in there. And, uh, you know, I sometimes take a look at it, take a look at my old self and everything. And I don't know some, how much I've changed, how different I talk, what my subjects are about. I think I've changed for the better, in my opinion, but... You know, you can't really tell. Glad well, I did absolutely nothing and I still get money. That's good. That's just great. Yes, run the cabaret club. Let's. Uh, prepare to open. Special training. Then we do Chica's customer service too. Alright, shall we pick up where we left off? Hi. Yep. Just yeah, like last time. <laughs> Let's talk romance today, huh? What do you think of a relationship with lots of romance? Oh crap, I forgot to get you and just mm, split with Kanehara, the manager of Club Venus. This is bad. Her face just got gloomier than a kid who dropped his ice cream. I screwed up on this question. Mm. So, uh, hey, if you'd rather not talk about it, you can change the subject. Totally happy to not talk about some. Uh, totally happy to talk about something else. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm, very professional. Hmm, okay. Well then. Did you get duped? That's a fucking horrible question, but... 
I'm kind of curious. I don't really care if it scores me the bad score. Stock animals? Only if you want. No, well, you actually, it might be the correct answer. What the f I'm actually curious at this point. Oh, come on, say it then. chika -chan. Are you the type of girl who gets to by bad guys? Oh yeah? Should I take that as a compliment? はい、とっても。あ、そういえばまだ質問の途中でしたね。私付き合ってる男の人にいつも浮気されちゃうんですよ。だから悪い男に騙される I see. Any schmuck who could trick a girl like you is automatically on my shit list, Chika-chan. If there's a next time, you'll have to answer to me first. Alright, on a happier note, what's your favorite type of guy then, Chika-chan? Wow. Huh? That's a hell of a trait to be attracted to, ain't it? Hi. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Mm. I just don't get it. Hmm, I see. I see. Well, nothing about love is logical anyway. Maybe I should be more selfish around you, Chika-chan. Okay. Chika-chan, I need to start working for free. Yame <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. Whoa. I was joking. I was. It was a joke. <laughs> this ain't good for my heart. Mm. All right. So now that I've heard a little about your idea of romance, I gotta admit, I'm getting worried. So here's another question: What happens when you fall for someone? What are you like? Mm. I don't think I'm not like that. so. Maybe I'm getting worried about nothing, I guess. But... I think I'm going to be a part of my life. I think I'm going to be a part of my life. I think I'm that is the definition of changing when you're in a relationship. That. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of thing that dooms you to an unhappy relation. Hmm. Don't change for him. Do you really think you need to change for a guy that much? Well, sure. There was a little effort here and there, but she goes. But if she goes full bow, it borders on creepy. Guy's gonna be. Guy's gonna be with you because he likes it. Exactly, likes you for exactly who you are. Chikachan. Nothing wrong with just being yourself. Good. Yeah? Oh yeah? What's up with that once in a while part? Hmm? But really? Chika-san, you freak me out a little when you suddenly start on that stuff. On that stuff. Alright, enough about romance. I'm gonna ask you straight up. Even if maybe I, maybe now is not the time. Are you okay? Hmm. 
自分の気持ちがよくわからなくて。Sure. Yeah, for sure. You've been through a lot. 迷ってばかりですね、私。That's your talent. <laughs> hey, I thought you said you were good at being lost. <laughs> そうでした。私の特技でしたね、道に迷うの。Oh,、uh, yeah. Sometimes even life gives us a detour, you know? Just take it slow and easy. I'll walk with you. Majima san. Hi. Arigatou gozaimasu. Fucking bunny ears. Oh, we're done. Nice enough torturing. Oh, they're a perfect one, though. I'm surprised. That last question I was expecting to get wrong. Prepare to open. No, actually, open for business. I'm glad I'm so close to finishing it. This, the lone voice. Well, back to just wasting time for two minutes. An absolutely great activity. I gotta say, I st I've been streaming a bit lately, or I streamed a bit last week, rather when this comes out. I'm not sure I'll be streaming next week, I have no clue, or this week when it comes out. Um, so, I want to talk a bit about it. It was kind of a warm up because I wanted to warm up a bit to streaming because of、uh, the fact that. Whenever Lisa the Painful Definitive Edition comes out, which was a surprise to basically everyone, when it comes out,、um, which is on July the 18th, so quite soon, when it comes out, I want to stream it because making a playthrough would mean I have to wait until there's an empty slot in my, my schedule and then slowly playing through it. And people want to see it then because that's just how people want to, you know, you people want to experience it right then and there, not wait. Three ages for. Three ages? Three years for a fucking playthrough to finish. Especially at my pace. So. You know. I've, I've, been, I've been streaming some other stuff. And、uh, I currently streamed Cruelty Squad. And I gotta say, it's quite an interesting game. It is a fucking mind melting experience. I'll tell you that. It is just. Neuron deletion. But it's kind of fun in some other ways. It is a great game, but it hides itself behind, behind very ugly and trippy graphics. Yet I think there is an appeal to that as well. Because if we're talking actual gameplay and the game itself, it's really good. Like, really thought out with interesting mechanics and unique ones too. But it's just. I don't know. I, I, I literally do not have a way to put it into words. I talked to a friend about this, and、um, they watched a bit of me play, and they didn't understand a single fucking thing, and had, they had no clue how I could actually play the game. Like, they didn't understand how I could actively play something like that. They didn't understand what I was doing in the first place in the game. It's a shooter, so you'd imagine it's e easy to tell what you're doing, but it's not. It's really not. Because it's not just a shooter. It's a kind of Hitman game, I guess, is the best way to put it into words. Either way, doesn't really matter. We've run out of time here, so. Just move on, I guess. Yep. That's what I like to see money. Right, yes, we're on the cabaret club. Uh, prepare to open. Special training. Training three.
All right, Chikasan, you ready to dive back in? Hi. Of course, I look forward to it. Oh, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what should we talk about today, Chikasan? Of course. You can focus on anything you want to ask for today. By the way, this is basically the last thing we have to do before continuing the story. Just finishing her little quest here of training and then the sub story. And then we'll be done. And we can continue the so story, which will let us continue the cat Bray stuff. But I'm already at a point where that would take very short amounts of time. And we'll be able to fully finish the cat Bray stuff. Which has been taking so damn long. It's kind of pissing me off at this point. Sounds ominous. Majima-san,どういう女の人が好きですか? <laughs> Hmm, what kind of woman, eh? Give me a second here. I'm gonna answer honestly here. And not for Majima. Because the, the right answer for Majima would be no time for woman. The right answer for the question is probably a graceful woman. But the right answer for me is a cheerful one. I'll, I'll be completely honest here. Someone cheerful. I need that. I absolutely need that. I prefer the cheerful, happy types. Mm, Ai-san, right. She's real cute and a hard worker, too. So, yes. That's not the correct answer, but that's an okay answer. What makes you ask about my preference as a woman, anyway? So, any other burning questions for me? So, this is <laughs> oh, yeah. I hate when that happens. It just slips right out of my head all the time. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Especially girls' names. Especially shopping. Complete opposite from how I am, but okay. I step out the door, go and buy something. When I get the store, I can't remember what I was, what it was to save my life. The vinegar situation. Oh no. Ah. Hmm. Oh, wouldn't you know? We're both absent-minded. And with that, we finally have something in common. Yes. Forgetful duo. Ah, Majima san ni kikitai koto o moi dashimashita. Hmm? Yeah. Or I will. Majima san te sono. Kekkon shite rin desu ka? Eh? Married? Do I look like I'm married? Hmm, zenzen sozo tsukanai desu. Suga. Oh, alright. Well, no. I ain't married. So that Taneska. So no kotoga zuto ki na te tandesio. That's so. Is that really something worth racking your, your brain about for so long? Machiran des. So reja ke kona hanashiga de takara. Sui de ni kikita in deske do. Majima san te. Ke kon gambo te arimaska? So ya na. Time or not, eh? For Majima? Can't imagine it. Honestly, I can't imagine it for Majima. Mm. Mm. It's tough to imagine getting married. So this call? Majima san igai to eat and assign they saw the nut to my maskedo. Me, a good husband. 
you flatter me, Chigashan. And being this, in this profession, you gotta know that gets you nowhere. Not so. When you put it that way, I guess I didn't write to refuse a compliment. Thanks, Chigachan. <laughs> well, we've been at this for a while now, so why don't we call this the last question? Got anything else you wanted to ask? Or are you out of questions? Yeah. Hmm. Quite obvious, aren't you? And Majima somehow can I completely miss it? Eh? Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? You're important. Let's just say that. You're an important part of my life, Jiro-san. You're the number one girl at Club Venus. Your work here has been stellar. Thanks to you, sales are climbing up. That ain't all. When the club is full of customers and everyone is in panic mode, you're, out, you're, you're a rock. You stay totally calm. When everyone else is hot potato, you're the coolest cucumber. It helps us chill out. What I'm trying to say is, you're important to me, to the club, and you're special in my life. Answer that one alright then. Hi. Yeah. Hey, didn't mean you were heavy or sharp and sharpener or anything like that. Don't twist my words. <laughs> we can't tell when you're joking in the slightest, Chiyo-chan. Okay, I think we can call it a day. Yep, that was a good lesson. It was just okay. Uh, I'm going to save before I do any more. Because of the headphone issue. I don't know when my headphones are going to run out of battery. And if they do run out of battery, and I'm not expecting it, the game's just going to crash, and I'm going to lose half an hour of progress. God. That, that's not progress you can speed through. Because it literally involves waiting. Speaking of waiting, let's do some more. Alright. There. Well now. Well now indeed. I'm not gonna help you, okay? Okay. So. Here's a subject to talk about. Something they talked about recently. Books. I may or may not have mentioned I've started reading recently. And it's because over the past while, you know, past a good while ever since i started making my channel essentially i've been trying to change myself for the better and that hasn't changed it's just gotten more amplified if anything i'd say so recently one of the things i picked up is reading why am i reading i'm reading dune a book i got from my dad actually because uh, he apparently had the, the entire series i probably already talked about this but rather than focusing on the fact that oh i'm, I'm reading look at that that's not important what is important is the fact that i'm really enjoying it I'm enjoying the story, and the thing, the interesting thing is, right, from what I've read online, it seems like Dune is considered this, this slog of a story where it's everything is very slow, right? And I've almost gone through half a book, and yeah, nothing has really happened, but at the same time, I can't help but be more interested in it, because for some reason, that attracts my interest for some reason in books, it just... It, I don't need action, I don't need intrigue, I don't need anything like that. Just tell me about the world, tell me about what's happening, tell me about just the way it functions, and I'll be fine. 
that'll be plenty for me. That being said, we are specifically talking sci-fi stuff here. Or fantasy, for that matter, right? I'm not gonna be interested in normal day Earth. Maybe history. History is interesting, right? But the thing about it is, yeah, even though it's a slog of a story, it, it still manages to, you know, pique my interest somehow. Because 150 pages for me to say I have only seen a family of a few people and uh, like a, an empire move to a different planet and get adjusted to living there even though they haven't really 150 well, 150 pages for that for the for some people to move to a different planet is quite a lot when considering the fact that it's the the, the moving part was I mean, let me put it this way, if you don't know Dune, there's an empire that lives, an empire, whatever, they're called houses, it doesn't matter, um, that lives on a, on a regular planet with a lot of rain and everything, and then they move to this place called, um, Arrakis, I think is the planet's name, which is a planet without any water, like, it's so scarce there that it's basically, like, the, a very important thing sweat and everything like that is, is just main resource right and they're getting adjusted to it and that's essentially the start but that's half a book <laughs> being just the start they're moving there they haven't even gotten used to it that's half a book that's only when you consider that it's a fucking six book series that's why it's a slog of a story but then again, like I said, I kind of enjoy it. Let's prepare to open. And I'm guessing we'll have some kind of mini game. Most probably. Cool. Shit. Well, this one's completely luck. Let's have some fun with it then. Fool, I don't really care what you're talking about. You 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 don't ever have inter anything interesting to say. Ancient interesting to say about these dates. Don't play the tutorial. God no. Banking. Uh, how about we go this this way? Um, okay. Wait, can I move the... I can't move the thing. Okay, sure. There. I'm actually closer, wow. That is a surprise. You know what that means? You know what that means? I know what that means. Break shot. I'm the one to break shot. All right, there we go. Literally nothing. That's great. That's what we love to see. Not yet. What are you doing? This is so bullshit AI. What the fuck is this? This ain't even funny. I'm sorry, but this isn't even funny. Speaking of, actually... Since last time I played pool in Yakuza, I actually played pool in real life for the first time. I can say it's quite literally the same thing, except it's harder to actually aim. Not, not aim, actually. Aiming is fine. Hitting the ball is the, the hard part, I would say. Doing that, for example, knowing knowing enough power sure. just to where the ball just stops after you hit it, that's difficult, I gotta say. And that should go on just fine. The three... It's in an unadvantageous position. There's not much I can do about it. That's about right. Gonna move that there. Yep. Uh, 
bad position. As a matter of fact, though, I might be able to get this. Ooh, close. Not yet. Mm hmm. Hey. I know. I know you get it. This is cheating, anyways. You have perfect fucking shots. Robotic aim. No. Okay, I was gonna say, if that goes in that corner, oh my fucking god, I would've just... Let's not say what I would've done. It's not. For the sake of YouTube, you know, appreciating me and all that. Let's not do that. That's about right. Well, I put myself in prime position, didn't I now? How the fuck am I gonna hit that one? Go hard. Boom, and the white goes in. Fuck! That's such an easy win for her. Yeah. It's such an impressive play on my part, and the, 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 her AI has done absolutely horridly so far. And this is how she wins. I actually managed to have a decent game, and, you know, have some decent shots here. She, however, didn't. Yet she still won, because 9 ball is an atrocity of a minigame. Play 8-ball. Honestly. Do not play 9-ball. Nine 9-ball nine is inferior. 9-ball is something you could maybe enjoy by yourself, okay? Because, oh, you have to hit it in order, right? That's more of an... You could play by yourself in that, in that sense. But when you play with someone else, it absolutely sucks. Because... You could have the best game ever and go from 1 to 8 and then miss one shot and the other person just happens to put in the like non 9, not put in, to bank the 9 and then boom, look at that, you've just lost the game because you were stupid enough to not be on the 9 shot. Honestly, 9 balls just fucking sucks. I no, that's my genuine opinion. A nine ball just fucking sucks. Eight ball is better. Do not question me. Okay? Eight ball is just better. That's all I gotta say. Hmm. Alright, let's do one more bit open for business. And then I'll end the episode. One more run of this. Mm. That really pisses me off, too. Like, it's such a simple thing that's just. Nine ball doesn't make any fucking sense, okay? I gotta say it. Nine ball doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense what the condition for winning is. It's such a bullshit condition. What, like, what just happened to me there on that game? Like, I have such impressive shots. I bank off the other side. I bank, like... Just impressive shots. And then... I get a foul at the end. And she just banks it in at, like, fucking one centimeter distance from the other ball. It is such a disappointing thing. It's so annoying, too. In 8-ball, that wouldn't have happened. In 8-ball, it's entirely reliant on how good you and the other player are. Right? 
If you manage to put uh, to, to bang seven balls and then you miss the eighth one, it doesn't mean the other player can just go for the eighth and then just win. They have to also, you know, get seven entire balls and then the eighth one too if they want to win. Whatever. Fucking. I'm gonna shut up now because nine balls just stupid. Sorry. No, I, I like it. This genuinely is my opinion. Nine ball is just stupid. I wish it's a, I, I wish it wasn't the game that it shows. But hey, what can I do about it? What can I do about it? Now. I'm really fucking thirsty. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta talk about this, cause I am dying of dehydration here. I don't have water in my room, and I realized that like 10 minutes into recording, cause I wanted to drink some water, and I realized, oh fuck, I don't have water. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about my friend, Alex. Alex Alpaca, childhood friend of mine, and um. He is, well, in my words, still recently decided to make videos. It's been less than a year, I think, since we started. Or maybe just about a year. And, um, I've been supporting him along the way. Not, uh, not only with what he does, but, like, I've also given him advice on what he could do. I'm no big YouTuber, but I do know a, a thing or two about, um, about how YouTube works sometimes. And uh, I can say it has helped him, some stuff. But overall, I, I really enjoy watching his videos. That's the thing. Um... Because... I know he doesn't really watch mine. Because mine are... There, there's a lot, and he doesn't really have time, and I don't really have time. But I managed to watch his, because there's not a lot of his. I gotta say, they're really enjoyable. I, I sometimes recommend the, this channel, you know. When I'm, um, I'm recording videos of my own, and I, I do recommend you check it out even now, but I don't know, there's something interesting about seeing my friend just do YouTube videos. It's it's kind of weird to put it into words and kind of weird to imagine it, but yeah, it's just something different, something new. I guess you might have felt that same way when I, well no, because I've been making videos since I was little. I, I've, that's always been part of my personality. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it here. So, if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow.